Sure, we can understand. Okay. I, by M. Kiazuru, I promise that all the things I come to talk to TRC is true. Nothing but the truth. So help me God. Please be seated. Hi, how you doing? Welcome. Well, and we say thanks for being patient. Because you're coming late in the evening and I know you've been waiting all day. Yo. But our people back there were nice to you. Yeah, they have been very kind to me. Okay. Thank you. Including that man sitting down by you? Surely. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you. Too. Okay. You say your name by M. Kiazulu? Yes, by M. Kiazulu. Okay. Where you live? I'm living in Bumoja. Bumoja. Yeah. Now, which district? Gawula district. Gawula. Your age, please. I'm 41. Uh, what do you do? I'm a farmer. Rice? Yeah. How you drag the yes, so you sure? Yeah, we make cassava farm, rice farm, or I will say yeah. So the mean one about cassava? Cassava. Then rest second, right? Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for coming and for giving us the information. This is Commissioner Umusila, Commissioner Didi Durupe, Commissioner Gerald Coleman, and I'm Jerum Fuadier. We say thanks. The opportunity is yours to present your testimony. Okay. Okay, I'm by M. Kiazulu from Bomoja. I'm here to tell uh, TRC what all happened and I saw during the war and what happened to me, particular, and my family. First of all, my mother that I love the best. Uh, during 1990, uh, 1990, July the 2nd, I lose my mom because why? She will operate when I carry her to a hospital. Then when the war came, they told me to, uh, to, they told me to carry her to Kakata, uh, uh, bon, I mean uh, uh, bomb mines hospital. When I was carrying her on that day, then we heard a sound. Oh, they say. A rebel came you. Oh, then my mom told me, he said, Bye. They all sound here yeah, heavy. We never, we never experienced such thing like this. So, what I will tell you, please, let's go back in the interior. God will be with us. I said, Eh, hey, it's true. Then I tell her, I say, Well, you say everything. So we are going to go back. So when that very day we don't sleep to Moravia, we came down to Bomoja. Then the signal got west. We were in Bomoja up to June when the signal was heavy on her. Then she called me. Bye. Say come. At that time her foot Everything was getting swallowed. Oh, when I look at her, I, I, I shed tears. She said, Bye. They want it. I don't think so well, I will make it. Why in that movement? 
Then, as what I said, ma, they want you, I love you the best. Of course, my father and you born me, but I love you the best. And my said, I couldn't help because no medicine, no treatment, nothing on the can. What should I do? I cannot do nothing else. Then in that very day, in the morning time, when she called me around about 7 o'clock, she couldn't talk again. The last word from her mouth, she said, bye. Be mindful with, with the war. The war that coming, I beg you, do never even take a gun or take anybody property or even do never even beat somebody. Be very careful with yourself. Now I'm going. I cannot talk again. I cannot do nothing again. I'm leaving the war. Oh, then I shed tears. I look at her for long. She look at my face. She tears tears. Then she turned her hair back. She couldn't look at my face again until she went. She gone. Well, we are Muslim. We cannot keep deaf. Then the people call me. They say, well, we are going to bury your mother. I say, okay. The very day they are going to bury her, that's the very day NPFL came in Bomoja. It was June 22nd. We were in the graveyard. We held a heavy sound. Behold, every, that very day, the town was surrounded by a social rebel. When we looked so, we were in the graveyard. They were calling all. Everybody's hands should be up to the center of the town. Nobody owned property here today. Nobody get their own way. When I was crying, the commander that was there, he called me, why are you crying for? I said, my mom passed away. He said, go to the center of the town. What coming happen here? We are not uh, looking at what, you, what, what happened over there, that God will. But this is our own will. So we don't get time, what you are doing, or what you crying, whatsoever. So wipe your face. And put your hand up. So I said, I couldn't do nothing. We walked to the center of the town. And when they talk all what they are, you're supposed to talk. He introduced himself. Say he is Tom B. Wongbe. Tom B. Wongbe. He's a commander and he owns Bomoja. All the property that there, nobody owns the property. He Tom B. Wongbe owns the property. He owns all the property. Share with small, yeah, my brother. We sorry for that. Okay. <laughs> Oh, the Indian call at the first call. So we didn't sorry for that interruption. Okay. He be expecting courses to be at the first call, so he's excited about it. He owns all the property now. Everything is belong to him. Okay. Then we ask him. Yeah, Mr. Mwangbe. But we want for you to help us. We have a deaf here. And we already carry a deaf to the graveyard. And he told us for everybody to come. So we just put her down. Nobody there. And we came. So we are kindly asking you to please go and do our burying. Then he called certain people. Then he called me. Are you all crying? I said, yeah. That's my mom. Why are you crying for? And he asked me, keep on asking me. I said, my mom passed away. He said, that's God's will. Our own will is different from God's will. So that death, 
It, it will lay down there until it gets wrapped in. Then we keep on baking her. I mean him. He said we should pay certain amount of money, which is five thousand dollars before we do the bearing. We back in all the way. The adults put ourselves together, they gave a little money, but I don't know the amount now that they gave. Then they told her to go bury. We went, he assigned five soldiers with us to go and see. Maybe the people looking at all, maybe that money they're going to hide over there, they say that death business they own. So we want for it to go and see what they are doing there. So they went with us. You're losing death. We we open it, everything, the chair say you go. We did it when we came back. At that, that, that very night nobody couldn't sleep. They say you'll never hear about Gon San, but today Gon San is a music in Bumoja. <coughs> that whole night they were shooting. After two to three days, our commander made with us. Then the next following week, we saw a different commander king. They call him Patrick Dia. Now then our trouble began. <coughs> Patrick Dia. He came, he said, report reached to him that the commander, he told me one way, just take hold the people as the chicken egg. Why? So today you have to leave. So I General uh, 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 Patrick Deer, I'm here to take control of the whole area. His assistant uh, with him, he having a boon. It's a human being boon. Cutting from the, the knee going down. Right away, he put everybody on line. It was not easy. Start whipping, beating people with that boon. Oh! Then while we were in the movement, in the land, then he, one of our brothers, he looked at him for long, he said, you, you are those soldiers, please come up. They call him Maya. Maya said, oh, I beg you, he said, no, I said, come up. I call you, you are those soldiers. You kill her, take care of the man here. Oh, then everybody concerned. Because when one person can come up, and he talked, we talked all the way, he said no. We had the Lofa River, the Lofa that from Bar, that is Lofa all the way to Bumoja, and that is Bar Mode, that is last time, the last time in Gaula, that where we live in. So he said that all the crowd boys carried their brother to the water side. They, they are going to see the first example that we are going to set. They ever worry now. What's happened? They carry him, tie him off. They call him, then he call himself killer. His real name is Vito. Now he's driving a taxi. Every day we can see him to quit. His real name was Vito. But you can't you cannot call him Vito ni at that time. Only killer. You call him Vito ni, you're looking for your own death. So we went there, we tied him up, put him down, forced all to hold a hand and his feet. See, like first example, what happened? Took the bare nerve, structured him. He was crying. He was crying. The other soldiers were around. Killer gave command. Look at everybody's faces. Anybody that tear, when, when you see tear from their, uh, from their eye to calm down, he should bear the sin penalty. And definitely, he was standing over us. Five soldiers were standing over us. When they structured that ball, he was crying, rowing up and down, up and down, up and down. What happened? He told all, you're taking and chewing in the water. We finish with that one. Who here now that like like me? I uh 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 what is your commander name? Because I really who here now like it's like me. 
We said nobody. He said, let everybody go in the town. We went in the town again. We were there. When he left, they won the war, a war from at that day. When you were coming, then we saw him on being here sitting down right in front of the, the car. Oh, that's something again. Then behind the, behind the pickle, we saw a man tie off. They, they, they call him Kanga. It's a very, very huge man. He said the man couldn't see. He couldn't see. In fact, he couldn't lay down when he read to see. He would just uh, 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 sit in the chair and see because he was very big. When they brought him, rest in the town, he called everybody. Because at that time, you, he cannot be allow one crab or one person to even go in the bush. Because when he can't, he having a list. He will call everybody. You, you're not there, the other people in trouble. So he called everybody. He said, I brought this cow to kill him right in front of you people. And this human being here, I want for every one of you people to look at it. If this is my will. And I keep on telling you people, I'm a gill man, raw gill man. Now one time we eyes, they say the man, <coughs> he, he's still living. So red at the center of the town, when he killed that man, he gave the same command to, because when he bring the man, he gave the command to kill her. Because he called himself killer. Kill that man. Red, in the red center of the town, he killed the man. He instructed all again to kill the man in the river. We chunk in the river. Okay, then what happened one day again was saying that when he came, I have my child with me, four years old, a child. It's a girl child. I was sitting down when he came, then he called. When they were going around the town, he saw me. What happened? I called you, he's sitting down. I said, No, I'm coming. Before I could get her, Killer reached to me. The baby that sitting down on my lap, he slapped that baby here, four years old child, slapped the girl here, the lady girl fall down. But at that time, I couldn't talk. Before I talk, the, 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 the gun, they were behind me. Boom! The old guy said, wait now, what are you doing? That the baby for I knock the baby, then you the one I can't, I can't kill you or I can't do nothing to you. Leave the baby, let's go. So I left the little child, we went to the center of the town. He said, we brought somebody again. We want to kill him. So we want for everybody to be there. They killed over 25 person in that town. Some, they structured them. Some, they killed them with, 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 with gun. Okay. When they did it, not now that child, my child, Suffering from ear complaint, every only pause can come from ear, and even he couldn't hear well. He with me. Okay, then we go to Unimo K. Unimo K. Uh, Unimo K. Madingo. Alehaji V. Koma. That's one of the area again. My problem began from when Yunomo K came in, they went in Bomoja. At that time, part of the then they left. They went in Bomoja. When they went there, uh, the commander was Opa, they say Opa Benny. Opa Benny, they came in in August 1st. That's the day they came to Bumoja. That's one of the day that Bumoja will remember. That's one of the day. August 1st, we, what August 1st 1994. We was there when we saw a group of people running, coming. What happened again? They say, you're standing. You're not hearing the gun sound. Everybody will low. When they came, because that's a crossing point to our area. So we want to cross. We want to cross. At that time, they finished pulling half of the kingdom. 
the king on that day, you know, you are running from a leper. Anything, anything you can uh, you, you do it. Anything that can on your way. So when the guy in the kingdom, they reach five to seven person can get in the kingdom. When they reach to the center of the water, the kingdom can get it done. Everybody just go under. Mm-hmm. When the king, the human being, the human being that was running, when they came to the water side, then the same movement, they were running behind the people. When they came, some people started jumping in the water. Some people started jumping in the water. After he went by, we checked, because we, the citizens of Bumoja, we take the root in the bush. You don't know the area, you can't do nothing. So most of them die. After two to three days, on what going down the water, the human being that we saw, babies, women, young boys, they die. That's one of the days we remember. And even when that day reaches, we always make a sacrifice for those who lo- they lose their life. Okay. And my father, my father was beaten right at the present of me. I eyes, the commander said, my oh, man, they want you, it's not easy. Because I, could, I remember the advice my mother gave it to me. At, but my mother passed away during the same war. Then my father again, I told the church, I said, they want you to be brave enough to go in, in front of the commander and tell him, even when they will kill me, they, they, they should kill me. But this one here is, is, is something is very bad. So when I went, I asked him, say, my man, why are you beating my father like this? It better for you to beat me. You beating me with boom. You beating me with human being boom. You beating me with stake. Why you can't beat me alone except my father? Then you jump on my father again, start beating. For that day, this this hand. That's the day they took the bent knife. They cut right here. You see this hand? I've been cut, and here they cut this hand. Now this hand cannot work. It cannot work. Oh. What you want to do? I told you from the beginning, no, God not get his own way here. We get our own way. Why won't we do something? You ask her. That blood was wasting. Then, when I went to the, the, behind the house, I sat down there. I was sitting now crying. The other guy came. What he did? Took the gun, shot the gun, he said, uh, 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 it's a two thousand. I mean, morale they were giving. Just shooting the gun right under my feet. My man, they want you a better. Then stay. You want to kill me? Yeah. I beg you. Leave me alone. Let me be here. So when he did it, he left. He went. He reported me again. He called me again. He say I should lay him down. Why I have to cry? They gave me fifty lache behind my back. He said, why I have to cry when they caught me when my blood was wasting? I never see blood here before. All the people, they've been killing Bumoja. Why, when they do small things, why, why I can't think about the people? And they, I see more, small things here, they caught me. They want, I will cry. From that point, even no tears here can come in my ear again. I mean, my, my eye. So, when uh, Lel Rebel then King, too, at once of the era, let rebel. Present of me, they raped my woman. Present of me, they killed my brother. Now, the brother that they killed, he left three living children with me. Now, these children are with me. And some, they are five years, three years, and they, 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 they just attend. And I don't have no money to even support them in school. And my, my mother, I mean, my, my, my woman that used to help me, from that time they rape her. I kill her, hospital to hospital, they check her, 
Sometimes she will come to us say, Sometimes the sin sickness will go back to her. It even cause for even for me to go around her, it can be very hard. Say bye. I'm sick. Say I'm sick. It can the sickness. My say I say yeah you sick. Because the man that raped her, they call him King Ezra. He said he King Ezra. That's the name of the commander. King Ezra. We ask him for his real name. We even try by all means to know his real name. He said he called himself King Ezra. For that day, or uh, let rebel, even all the property that my father left. Because you're having sheep, even you're having a uh, Kazakh grazing machine, we need to sustain ourselves, all gone. All gone. You see, this year, when TRC went over there in Bumoja, trying to uh, find out the fight, some people were somehow say, when we come out to speak all these things, this garden, because every day, me, I can see most of them. <coughs> Even last week, one or two tear when he met me. He bent his head down. I call him. I said, Mama, what happened? He said, Oh, he said, Bye. I beg you, that time finish. Say that time finish. Say that time finish. I say, You know me? He said, I know you. Some of them, when we see them, when I see them, and what they did to me, I felt hyped. I even want to jump on the poison to do bad, but I always think, I always think what I hear over radio. And what really got me very sometimes, what really made me to cry sometimes, these gentlemen trouble us, take our property, destroy us, beat us, do all these things to us. Then the people took them again, start giving them the best thing that they wanted, start giving them everything they wanted to sustain their self. Then why? Sometimes I can sit down and ask myself, why? Why? Why this thing happened? I will encourage me, I say, I will come to TRC and explain myself. Why? I get more to say. But let me stop so far. <coughs> let me stop this. My father, I lose my mom, I lose my fa father, and my child up to now, pause, all will come from her ear, because from the slab, from that commander. But thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. <clears throat> you must be a very <clears throat> strong and courageous man because you've gone through so much. Your mom that you love so dearly, her death alone was sufficient to break to break you down and your spirit completely. And even at that to bury her was another struggle. Surely. You know, then your father, your wife, then your child. And my brother. And your brother. Passed away with the children now with me. Yeah. I mean, how much can one person bear for a war you did not fight? A, a war you didn't ask for? A government you didn't participate in? You didn't benefit in any way from the war or the government before or anything like that. Just a peaceful citizen trying to carry on your life and all of this happening. You know, when you look back and think where you're coming from, you got calls to always praise God and say, well, at least we got life and we're going. But the next thing you to it is that you got support also. In us, it's a form of support. That's why we came. 
to tell you we are sorry for everything that happened and that you are not alone. We came so we can sit down together and see how to ease that burden on you so that life can be better. And there will come a time when you look back and you just smile small and say, yes, maybe man. By the grace of God. By the grace of God. You know, your hand is in the lion mouth. You got to take time to take it off. I'm talking about your whole head or your whole body inside. That's why those people had to treat those men and first. What happened was temporary. Maybe we end today, we end next year also. But it's just for a brief period. It cannot last forever. But what we're doing, the benefit that we will get, will last forever. Your daughter will benefit. The other children will benefit. My children, our children will benefit. We are making a sacrifice for our country. For them, they were just destroyers. You know, and so we have to take the instrument of destruction away from them. There was a price. It's easy to destroy and damage to wage war. But to rebuild, to make peace, is difficult. It's a long way. The war cannot last forever. For the peace, the reconciliation will last forever. We still pay in a price. But above all, we thank God that we are still alive. So we beg you, hold your heart, tell God thank you, and see the whole world thing in that light. That some of us have to make a sacrifice for the rest of us to continue to survive. Some people say the just suffers for the unjust. But this is what we have inherited. Our duty now, our mission is to make sure it never happens again. So that our children will not experience it. That people will not come and commit crime and just go free. There should be something that will prevent them from doing it. And even if they do it, there should be a punishment. So thank you very much for taking your time to tell us all of this, which has added so much value to what we are doing, and we are grateful to you. I'm sure there are some loopholes or some things we didn't hear well. My colleagues will ask you, and we will ask you some questions, and I'm sure some of them will have some things to say to you. So let the souls of your mom and all of those who are faithfully divided rest in peace. Very. Very. Thank you, Mr. Zulu, for sharing with us your story. It takes a lot to come and tell the public the painful things that happen in one's life. Many people sometimes think, what good it will come out of talking to TRC? What they will do for us? Let me just keep quiet one time. But you were brave and you came, and you will see the difference. You will get a copy of this report, and you will see the difference that your voice will make towards building a new Liberia. I know there are many things you went through that are painful, but I may have to ask you some questions again because I'm just trying to put the pieces together. We have to tell the country the story of what happened. So we need to sometimes get that information from you all who were on the ground in those different places. For example, just in summary, I noticed you said your father was killed. That's Momo, right? Yeah. Kazulu. Yeah. And you mentioned about your mother who died before the problem started. Then you mentioned about a brother. What was the name of that brother? Boima. Boima? Mm -hmm. Kazulu? Kazulu, yeah. And who, what group do you think killed him? Uh, Ilimo K. Ilimo K. <laughs> okay, Ilimo K. So that was around, it's in August 1994. No, oh. it's not in August 1994. What time? It was in uh, 19, 1994. Uh -huh. 1994. Uh, August, in October. October. Yeah. Okay. And 
do you know how he was killed? Like, it was in a town, they killed many people, or they just identify him only, or what? Oh, the murder. Mm -hmm. The murder was killed because of lack of uh, medicine, medication. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, because when the hospital, the operated on her, when they will carry her to hospital, they identify hospital that we should carry her, which is uh, bomb mines. When we to Kakata, that's the time we heard a heavy sound. We just forced to come back. So oh. no uh, medical care. So okay. our course of our death. Oh, that was for your mother. Yes. But for your brother, what was the reason for that? My brother was structures. Structure? Structures. Oh, he was yeah, uh, yeah. He killed this. Mm -hmm. So, the, do you know the commander? Was that the same Opa, Opa uh, Banjo? Or? Yes, Opa Benny. Opa Benny. Yeah. Mm. He was the uh, Ulumoke oh, leader. Yeah, he was the commander. Yeah. He directly or he ordered his people? He ordered his people. And was there, he was the only one killed? Or it was a group of people who they slaughtered? It was a group of people that killed. How many people? Seven poisons Seven. were killed at that day. At what town was that? Bomoja. So you call that the Bomoja massacre in October? Yeah. Okay. Seven. And your brother's children, you say you inherited them to take care of them, right? Yeah, I take care of them. No. So there's three of them? Three, yeah. You mem could you mention their names, please, for us? Momo. Kiazulu. Uh huh. Jebe. Jebe. Kiazulu. Uh mm huh. -hmm. And Vani. Vani. How are they doing now? Are they in school? Yeah, they are going to school. Mm -hmm. How about his wife? What happened to her? Her wife uh, is, you know, women, they can't stand her time. She left, she went to her people. Okay, I understand. And then you said she, that she, your she, wife... Go ahead, go yeah, ahead. She, she, she can come back and look at the children and go back. Even the few days she was with me. But she can come and look and go. Okay. I guess she's proud that you're taking good care of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you mentioned that your wife also had a misfortune during the lured time. Yeah. Okay. How is her health now? Is she okay now or? She okay, baby. Okay. Well, she always takes treatment. I understand. How many children do you have? Two or one? I? Yes, personally. I have four myself. Four children. Yeah. And it was one of them that was slapped that had the permanent damage. Yeah. What's her name again, please? I'm sorry. Jebe. Jebe Kiazulu. Jebe? Jebe. So is that problem, did you go to the doctor, any treatment for that problem or is it still the same? Or? They, they, I went to hospital to hospital, mm -hmm. but the problem, you know, it can come a time a stop, mm -hmm. but it, it can come a time, you know, I see the pulse still coming down. But what really caused of it, during that t period of time, mm -hmm. there was no hospital, no medical care. Mm -hmm. So the people used to make the country something and just pull it there. Nice. So that problem start creating, creating, creating until mm -hmm. up to this time, when we carry her, her family, I've seen problem come. Mm -hmm. If we day went, I went, I carry her to Marbury again, they say, oh, you have to carry the girl to the, to the ship and all these things here, because the problem that in her is, is very difficult. So it's beyond our current medical power in Liberia yeah. to solve it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's terrible. Okay, so the other children, are they okay? The other three children? Yeah, they, they are okay. They're all in school? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Then you mentioned about Mr. Victor and Dia in the, during the MPFL time. How Pat much, how many people they killed? Pat many Pat people. Ah. So, I mean, would you estimate beyond the 25, oh. the more than 25, would you say almost 70, 100? Patrick Dia, Patrick Dia, the one that he, he killed in front of us, mm -hmm. there were more than 20. Mm -hmm. But all the time, when he come out, he, he say he go on the world phone, when he be coming, mm -hmm. 
We saw him being here saying I read over the car. That one bar we cannot check. Because I just continue processes. Just continue every day that's that's his way. That was the same town, Bomboja? Yes. So that's another massacre in Bomboja yes. from the MPFL time. Mm -hmm. You talked about a river yes. where many people died mm -hmm. during the time of you Opa, Ke. Yeah, yeah, Opa Benny War. Okay, Opa Benny. Now, what was the name of that river? Lofa. That's the Lofa River. That's Lofa. So you estimate over 20, 30, 40 mm. people could have died in that river? I, remember, I can't tell because okay. the one we saw and the one that floating, we cannot say to, to check. Do you know if any name of the commanders of the Lord group? Why? You remember any of the names of those Lord people? Lord group? Yeah. The time when the Lord people came to your town and they did this bad thing to your wife. You remember any of the leaders who were doing it? Who were doing it? And they, he called himself King Ezua. That's the only commander. King Ezua. No, no. What's the boy? No, I couldn't remember his name now. Okay. Because King is where well, he well, left forces. Okay. When they do that, everything. Okay. Thank you. And again, I'm very sorry for what happened, but what you've done now is a form of justice because the information is clearly on record and something will be done. So God bless you. Okay. Mr. Kezulu, yeah. thank you very much for coming to share your experience. And I join my colleagues to say sorry for the losses that he encountered during the war. You said Victor, one of the fighters. Yeah, of course. We can sometimes see him. Killer? Yeah. Yeah, we can sometimes see him. So what you can see him, he said he's doing no, something. No, wait. He, now he's driving a taxi. But you cannot call him killer again. Because you call him killer, <laughs> a different thing. You say now he's near Vitor. Now he's driving taxi to Kuwait. So you and he not talk before since that time? Yeah, we can talk, I can see him. Because he knows me very well. When he see me, he say, oh, bye. Because he knows what he did. Did he apologize to you? Mm, no, no. You talk about some other people died, about 25. I don't know whether you remember all the people's names. You know any of them by name? I could remember some of their names. Those that he killed them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once it's Maya, Maya Gray. It's our brother, our own born brother. Yes. One is Kanga. Just uh, you, you call him Kanga because they brought him. They asked him, Where is your knee? He says, His knee, Kanga. They, they took him from Bomb Hills. Was he a policeman before? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Then we have one man there, they call him uh, Siafa. Yeah, I mean, but I couldn't remember all, all that needs. Okay, your wife, you talk about. You say she's still not feeling too well. Yeah. But since that time, she been able to have another child? Yeah, we have another child. After the war, <coughs> after that incident? Yeah. Okay, please extend our greetings to her mm -hmm. and tell her sorry for what happened. Okay. And thank you very much for being a good person. I'm just not sure if I got your mother's name right. My mother's name? How I kill you? How I kill you? Anything else? 
During your explanation, uh, you mentioned something about uh, your niece being raped. My niece? Your niece. No, only my wife. Only your wife? What's your wife's name? Yata. Yata? Mm. Okay. Is she the only person who was raped that you know of? That I know. Mm -hmm. For me. Yeah, but for other people. Ah, I want to buy your money. Oh, okay. Your money. So and who that, did they rape in? Are you the more? Uh, no, now nah, you know more. Uh, the last war, uh, the Lord. Uh, Lair. Okay. They part of the highest work. Okay, thank you. And then the man who they killed in the center of the town, what was his name? Kanga. Kanga. Oh, he is the they Kanga. They took him from Bombay Hills, they brought him. Hmm? Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Anything else you'd like to say before you leave? Oh, the only thing I want to say, say to TRC, because if you are said everything, or uh, my brother children, that he left with me. I want for TRC to help me to educate them. Uh, because you see, in this world, only education is the best. So even when, when they are educated, they will know that their father left somebody behind them. And my child, that the ear, having the ear complaint of a TRC to help me because I have spent a lot. I do not get nothing out of it yet. And she's not going to school at all because of her ear. And for TRC to help me and even to help myself to rebuild our life, me and my wife's and all children. Thank you very much. Thank you. Believe now.